The Andretti family will have two chances to see its name in victory lane for next weekend's Indy 500. Michael and his son Marco will both take to the track. Follow me to Indianapolis. For the Andretti family, this place, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, feels like a track that's haunted. The Andrettis have felt they've been cursed in the Indy 500. There was only one bright spot for this family at this track. Mario won the Indy 500 back in 1969. Ever since, they've been chasing after victory. Next weekend, two Andrettis will look for redemption. Michael has led the most laps without a win in the 500. And now his son Marco, a rookie, hopes to end the drought. I just think it is really bad luck, to be honest. Um, it obviously, it could have been a lot worse. Um, they were just in positions to win so many times. And uh, you know, there's a lot of times that we're on the plane ride home talking about why we didn't win it. 20-year-old Marco Andretti grew up spending race weekends in this motel just outside the Speedway, and he remembers the heartbreak. Like in 1982, his grandfather, Mario, plowed into Kevin Kogan, knocking Mario out of the race from the very start. Then, just four years later, at Indy Time Trials, Mario had engine trouble. He slammed hard into the wall, going a speed of 200 miles an hour. Luckily, he avoided injury. And then, in 92, the ultimate heartbreak. Michael Andretti led 160 of 200 laps, but with just 10 to go, his engine blew. He finished 13th. So why would Michael Andretti come out of retirement to a track that has tortured him? It's because this place is so special. That's that's the bottom line, you know, and, and I know how important it is to win, and, and I haven't won it, and, and I hate being heard to be the you know, having the most laps led for non-winner, and I still have another shot that maybe I don't have to do that. So Does we're gonna try. Does it still bother you hearing that? Heck yeah! You know, I didn't want to retire with that. You know, and uh, um, but you know, what that wasn't gonna be my motivation to keep me in the race car either. Um, but uh, you know, I never thought I'd have another shot at it. So I'm doing everything I can to take advantage of this last shot. Michael Andretti isn't only known as a former driver. He left the track in 2003 to become a co-owner of Andretti Green Racing. He can't wait to race the Indy 500 with his son, Marco. It's a chance for him to coach his son and to race alongside him, just as Michael did with his father, Mario. It's going to be quite interesting. You know, I was able to do it, you know, when it was my dad. But I think it's going to be obviously a little different when it's your son, you know. I'm going to feel a little bit what that felt, obviously. My whole last name, to be honest, I, I have to block out every race just because I want to go into it, you know, just not thinking I need to do as good as my father or grandfather. I need to do as, as good as I want to do, but uh, which is, I think, you know, my, my expectations are pretty high on myself. <laughs> Three generations of Andretti's, Mario, his son Michael, and Michael's son, the rookie, Marco, will soon be able to say they've all raced the Indy 500. Next Sunday, Marco Andretti and Michael Andretti hope to snap a 37-year-old curse and bring the Andretti name back to victory lane in the Indy 500.